Okay, so good morning and welcome back. Uh, we're now going to do the last part of lecture six. So here, we're going to begin with uh, reading. Reading the standard normal table. Remember, we said earlier that the standard normal distribution has a mean or the mean mu is equal to zero. And the standard deviation, sigma, is equal to one. Okay. So now, uh, this is how the standard normal table. Okay. So that's how the standard normal table looks like. Uh, you have that. Okay, so you have that, um, uh, the shape of the distribution. And as you can see from, the, from what, what has been sketched there, we have something like that. Then it cuts off there. Then this region has been shed, sh shaded. And you have your A there. So when you look at the values of Z on the left of A, these are the values that are less than A. So remember, the shaded region gives you the probability. Therefore, the probability that is shaded here is the probability that Z is less than A. This is also the same as the probability that Z is less or equal to a. So this is equal to the probability that Z is less or equal to, to A. Okay, so this is the probability that has been given. So what has not been shaded therefore is the probability that Z is greater than A. Okay, so the probability the table reads the probability on the left of A. Uh, so let's have um, an example. The probability that Z is uh, less than or equal to zero. We know the zero mark there is the value in the middle and that is our mean. And we know that the total probability is supposed to be what? To be 1. Therefore, the probability on the left of uh, 0 is 0 0.5 and the probability on the right of 0 is 0 0.5. And when you go to the table as well, probability Z, you have a column for Z and also a row for Z. So you begin with this column where you have your Z. I mean... The column with 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and it goes on up to 3.6. So this is the column that you begin with when reading the, the table. So here we have 0, 0.0. Then on the column there, you go for the column, I mean the row of 0 0.00. So that gives you probability that Z is less than 5. So what I was saying there is that you have your table in that way. You have your Z, 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, and it goes on. Then there you have 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. If you're looking for this probability that Z is less than 0, then take it to two decimal places. This is just the same as 
probability that z is less than 0 0.00. Okay, so you come, you first come to this column where you have 0, 0.0, and you have to match with the row. So here, this value there will give us our probability, and it is 0 0.5 from the table okay so this is how we read the probabilities on the table if we're looking for the probability z is less than 0 0.22 okay so how do we get this probability we first have to come to this column and look for 0 0.2 okay after finding 0 0.2 we know the next decimal place is what is a 2 because 0 0.22 is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.02 so these are the two values that we are looking for we first start with 0 0.2 then we look for we go this way and look for 0 0.02 this value here Will give us our probability and uh, from the table this is 0 0.2 0 0.5871 0 0.5871 that's our probability 71 okay uh, so let's move on to our other example. So this will be example three. This was example one, example two. And now we have example three. Let's find the probability that Z is less than 1.2. Okay, we know that 1.2 is just equal to 1.2 plus 0 0.00. Okay, so we go on our table. Actually, the other thing to do when looking for these probabilities, we have to be sketching. Okay. So we know that on the middle there we have zero. So 1.2 could be somewhere there. So this is a 1.2. So we're looking for the probability that is less than 1.2. So it's on the left of 1.2. So this is the probability that we're looking for. And on our table, we're going to use 1.2 plus 0 0.00. So we have 1.2. We come there. 1.2 plus 0, 0, 0. 0. 0.00 so this gives us 0. 0.8849 so this gives us 0. 0.8849 okay uh, let's now look for the probability that z is less than 2.45 Okay, so this is still the same. Let's go equal to 2.45. Okay, so uh, let's find this from our... So we're going to use 2.4 plus 0 0.05. So first look for 2.4. 2.4 and 0 0.05 so that's the probability there 0 0.9929 0 0.9929 okay okay what if we want to look for the probability that Z, Z 
z is between 0 and 1.2. So let us sketch that. We have our 1.2 there, and we know we have our 0 there. So we are looking for this probability that z is between 0 and 1.2. So to find this probability, we first get. Okay, so this is 1.2. We get the probability that Z... <coughs> excuse me. Z is less than 1.2. And we subtract this other probability. Zero. Z is less than... So... What we are saying that the probability that Z is between 0 and 1.2 is just equal to the probability that Z is less than 1.2 minus the probability that Z is less than 0. If we get all the probability, which is Z is less than 1.2 from the table, and we can also get this probability that Z is less than 0 from the table, then what we're going to remain with is this probability that we're looking for. Okay. We already have the probability that Z is less than 1.2. So, the probability that Z is less than 1.2 is equal to 0 0.8849 minus the probability that z is less than 0 we know that is 0 0.5 from the table and when you subtract the 0 0.5 from this value we are going to remain with 0 0.3849 ok so let's go to the fifth example and find the probability that z is greater than 1.2 okay so Okay, so we continue. Now, the probability that the probability that Z is greater than 1.2, we first sketch, of course. Okay, so we sketch that. So that probability we have 1.2. So the probability, the values that are greater, the z values that are greater are on the right. So it's this probability. So to find this probability, we know that the table can only read the probability that Z is less than 1.2. So to find this probability, the probability that Z is greater than 1.2, we can just take out the probability that Z is less than 1.2 from 1. So this gives us 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.2. 
Okay. The probability that Z is less than 1.2 is 0 0.8849. Subtract from 1 and you're going to find 0 0.6151. Okay. Okay, so let's now find the other probability. Probability that Z is less or equal to minus a so notice here you can put less or equal or less than and still read the probability from the table okay because these are continuous uh, random variables okay so Uh, suppose this is a 1.2. Now we're looking for minus 1.2 or negative 1.2. We know there you have a 0. So minus 1.2 will be there. And you're looking for the probability that Z is less than. Which values are less than minus 1.2? These are the values that are less than. Remember from your from your number line on the negative the values that are on the right i mean further left are less okay so this is the probability that we're looking for the probability that z is less than or equal to minus a minus 1.2 Okay, so that is the probability that we are looking for, and it is the shaded region. So how can we get it from our table? Remember, our table is symmetrical. That means uh, the area on the left is the same as, is equal to the area on the right. So this probability is actually equal to this one on the right of 1.2. So, but we know, okay. But we know how to get that probability, which is just, uh, uh, so we're saying that the probability that Z is less than 1.2 is equal to the probability that Z is what? These are the values greater. Greater than or equal to 1.2. So that means probability that Z is less than or equal to 1.2 or minus 1.2 is equal to to find this one the greater than we already saw it's just one minus the area that is less so that is one minus probability z is less than or equal to 1.2 and we already found this to be 0 0.6151 Okay, we we'll move on. Let's now find the probability between the probability that Z is between 1.2 and 2.45. So again, we sketch. If we have 1.2 to be there, then 2.5, 2.45 should be there. So this is the area that we're looking for. And this is just given by the probability that Z is less than or equal to 2.5, 2.45 minus the probability that Z is less or equal to 1.2 okay so the probability that z is less than 1.25 is 0 0.9929 minus 0 0.8849 and this gives us 0 0.108 Because we already found these probabilities on the table. 
Now, what we have done so far is just learning how to read the standard normal table. Okay, now let's look at the applications, how the questions could be phrased. Okay, so to, to, to solve such questions which need application of the standard normal, there is a general procedure. Uh, so the first thing that you do okay so to find the uh, probability that a lies between x lies between a and b when x is normally distributed distributed the first thing that you do draw the normal curve in terms of x And the second thing, transform x values to z values. Then you have to draw the normal curve. in terms of Z and finally use the standard normal table to find probabilities Okay, so these are the steps that you that you take. Okay, so let's have an example. So this is how a question might be given. Number one. Suppose X is normal is normally distributed. distributed with mean 10 and standard deviation standard deviation 5.0 find find the probability that x lies between 10 and 8 point okay Wait. Okay, t x lies between. Okay, so let's have that. X lies between eight point two and 
Okay, in just a moment. Okay. Okay, so our mean there should be eight. Okay. I mean there should be eight. And we are saying that X lies between eight and ten point two. Okay, so uh, this is the probability. Okay, let me just change that to just 10. Okay, so let's have that. So solution. So we first uh, have to sketch in terms of uh, x so x remember for x the mean is anything so our mean there is 8 okay and uh, we want the area from 8 to 10 so we are looking for this probability there the area okay so let let us now translate or transform when so we say for x is equal to eight, z is equal to eight minus eight over five, which is just zero. So for x is equal to ten, then we have z is equal to ten minus eight over five, which is equal to two over five. And that's 0 0.4. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is that we need the probability that Z is between 0 and 0 0.4. So this just gives us the probability that Z is less than 0 0.4 minus the probability that Z is less than zero from our table z is less than 0 0.4 this is 0 0.6554 minus 0 0.5 we know the probability that z is less than 0 0.5 Z is less than 0 is 0 0.5. So this then gives us 0 0.1554. Okay. So this is how this is an example of a typical question on a normal table. So this is how we phrase the questions. Okay, so the other example. The chest sizes of Shaka Zwarez were approximately normal. with mu equal to 39.85 and standard deviation equal to 2.07 find the probability that a random randomly selected wires Warrior had a chest size in the interval 
in the interval 38 and 42. Okay, so we now solve that and uh, Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, let's just finish up. We'll finish up in the next slide.